Reporting live from No Frills in Scarborough with a new mask mandate lifted, it's live from last week, episode 65. Let's go! And put on my mask again because I kind of feel naked. <laughs> Welcome me, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So today we're at Markham District Park, a nearby park with a nice little skating trail. And if you guys can remember this scene from a couple months back. So earlier tonight, I took her out to try to find and buy some new skates. And we got her some new Nike Bauer skates for only 45 bucks. We are here right now to use the wife's brand new used skates that she got on that episode. But yeah, this place, compared to how it was just 24 hours ago, is just full of snow now. But yeah, I'm gonna continue skating and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So after an hour of skating, then making my way to the library to get a brand new library card, the wife and I drove through the snowy conditions of this March day and headed over to our old place at a place called Neo Isaac. As well on the street, running into one of our other old friends. It's Nadia! <laughs> Long time no oh see. My God. And another thing about today that was cool was checking out the new sliding doors that they have installed there. So yeah, anyways, we made our ways up on the elevators and went to go visit our friends Royce and Liza, sharing this beautiful meal that they prepared for us and consulting us on our wedding experiences so that they have some sort of idea what to expect in their future wedding. And yeah, a big thanks to Royce and Liza for hosting us today for dinner. And I'm hoping that we will be able to reconnect soon so that we could return the favor here in Scarborough. But anyways, it's late now, so hopefully I'll be able to go and get some rest so that I have enough energy for yet another busy day tomorrow. So today, I don't know if you guys know, but I just can't get enough of skating. So I'm back here at McCowan District Park for a nice little morning skate around the rink here. And funny enough, I found myself here for one reason. This morning, I got to thinking. I was skating around in this rink yesterday. I decided to go on Facebook Marketplace and look for ads for hockey sticks. And luckily enough for me, this lady in Scarborough close by posted that her hockey sticks were available. So I made my way driving through the nice thick fog that we had in Scarborough today. Went to Canadian Tire to pick up a nice new hockey puck then made my way to pick up the hockey sticks. And afterwards, I was ready to rock. So now I'm at the hockey rink, trying to stick handle with a new hockey puck and a new stick for the first time in I think over 10 years. So yeah, I'm like thinking, I'm not really doing too bad considering I haven't done this in over a decade. And I don't know if you can tell, but the hockey stick that I got is a junior hockey stick. And it's a straight blade across, meaning if I wanted to, I can use it right-handed or left-handed. But yeah, before we leave the rink, I have a couple birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my Ukrainian friends that I used to play soccer with back in the past. And this birthday greeting goes out to you, Andy. Happy birthday, Andy. And finally, the next birthday greeting I have for the day goes out to one of my friends in high school, who I used to play basketball with 
and would always sink shots and say wet. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Duran. Happy birthday, Duran. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. So after returning home, the wife was excited because she was getting ready to go to a concert that she had this evening. But when we got there, we saw that there were long lineups even 90 minutes before they opened the doors. So while looking at the long lines, I had an idea for a spontaneous date. I dropped her off to wait in the lineup, then went to the closest local Harvey's for the first time in months. And after losing where she was and her location in the long lineups, I found you. I found you. I was finally able to deliver her and me a dinner for two. And after randomly getting wristbands proving that we were in the lineup, I ran into a couple of our friends including V and D and eventually said goodbye to the wife at the entrance of the venue so that she can go in and enjoy the concert. But yeah, now that I have arrived at home and I'm alone for the next couple of hours, before the wife finds out and before I pick her up driving through the dense but scenic Toronto fog tonight, if you guys didn't know, today is March 16th aka 316. And on that note, especially to my wrestling fans out there, Nick, Mark, Tibor, Royce, Pav, and anybody else who I might have missed, I just want to wish you guys a happy Stone Cold Day, aka Austin 316 Day. And now it's time to do my yearly tradition of cracking a couple of cold ones to the Stone Cold theme song. So this morning, after we got up really early and driving the wife to her day shift through this immense Toronto fog, I mean, look at the comparison on how it looked yesterday compared to how it looked early this morning. It was definitely a tricky drive in to downtown. But yeah, in case you guys didn't know, today is actually March 17th. And to all my friends who are Irish or who want to be Irish today, with a special shout out to my buddies Shaughnessy, Luke, and Jeffers, I just want to wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day today. So in honor of this day, I'm obviously wearing my Irish mode shirt. And I'm choosing to you guys taking a quick swig of this Irish Guinness Stout. But for today, since I'm at home waiting to go in for my first of my four night shifts tonight, I decided to turn on the TV and set up my EarthCam app and check out the marvelous webcam views of how Dublin looks, especially in and around the famous Temple Bar. Moving on, before I wrap up my segment for St. Patrick's Day this year, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends out there, Mary, happy birthday, Mary. I'm hoping that everybody that shares their birthday on St. Patrick's Day today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and have great celebrations for your birthdays this year. Sorry, one thing that I forgot to mention, that today actually kicks off the NCAA March Madness Basketball Tournament. And the one thing that the wife has on me is that the wife has defeated me for the past four years of making a bracket predicting who will win more games through the tournament. So this year I have been writing down my predictions and getting ready to defeat her for the first time in five years. So this year my prediction is that Kansas will win it all and will help me break the winning streak of the wife. Well, I don't know if you guys can tell by my beautiful hairstyle this afternoon, but it just signifies that I had a really good post night shift nap today. And after waking up, I remembered that this morning I ran into one of my old former co-workers back in the parking garage. What the hell are you doing here? Jen! Long time no see. I know. Everything good? So yeah, Jen, it was great catching up with you today. Say hi to Rue for me, and I hope you and your family are doing well at this time. But moving on, I'm recalling that today is Friday, a perfect day to go out to the movie theaters and check out a movie. Which made me recall that back on Tuesday, I checked out one of my cousin's YouTube channels. You guys already know is Lou's Reviews, who posted an epic review on the new Batman movie. So yeah, I don't know if you guys checked out his review from last week, which he actually made around the time of his birthday, but I'm hoping that you guys will check it out in the YouTube link above or in the description below. 
But anyhow, it's time to go on for my second of my four night shifts tonight, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So I don't know if you guys recall this scene from a couple months back. Woohoo! Celebrating the small victories in life. I got first floor parking. But before I went in for work last night, guess who's celebrating the small victories? And scored yet another ground level parking spot for the first time in weeks. And yeah, another thing to celebrate is that this guy scored another high score on his Duolingo practice streak. 1800 days in a row. And I'm hoping that with all this practice, soon enough, I'll be fluent in Spanish. And now, moving on to today, where I was busy after taking my post-night shift nap, editing some JPlayer POV videos of snowboarding up at Snow Valley. And it reminded me of the fun times that I had in Barrie a couple weeks back. So guys, if you want, check out those POV snowboarding videos, which is a compilation of the four ski hills over at the Triple Chair Ski Lift. Oh shoot, Huxtable, Vertigo, and Keith Rolls. But continuing on, before I go in for my third of my four night shifts tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I have a birthday greeting to one of my friends I used to work at BVG with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Andrew. Happy birthday, Andrew. And next, a birthday greeting to one of my nursing friends who I used to party with downtown back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kayla. Happy birthday, Kayla. I'm hoping that all you guys that have your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. So today, being March 20th, just wanted to welcome you guys to officially the first day of spring 2022. And with it being a new season today, also means that the Toronto Blue Jays have officially started their spring training session in Dunedin, Florida. And this year, with Vladdy and Bo having one more year under their belt, plus a full year of George Springer playing in the outfield, and with the recent acquisition of all-star third baseman Matt Chapman, this year, the Blue Jays are ready for a run at the World Series. And with Vladdy pumping up the team with a phrase like this, last year was the trailer, now you're gonna see the movie. I am really excited for this version of the 2022 Blue Jays so that I can see them back in Toronto and cheer them on at the Dome. Moving on, I just wanted to share another thing with you guys that got me pretty excited today. After work, the wife and I went to Sunday Mass this morning at the beautiful Our Lady of Lords Church in downtown Toronto. And if you guys think that this place looks familiar, it's because it's the first time that the wife and I went back to that church since November 2021, aka our wedding day. So to be honest, even though I was a little bit tired coming off night shift this morning, just being there to attend Mass at this church really brought back great memories from my wedding day. Also, speaking about coming off my night shift this morning, last night I was redeployed to work on a medicine unit for the first time since New Year's Day. But although I had a pretty busy shift last night, I was thankful for working with great people like Moza, Angie, Levine, and Meline, who helped me get through that night shift pretty smoothly. And another great thing about last night's shift this morning, was the fact that at shift change, I ran into one of my favorite classmates back when I was going to Ryerson. Yup, that's right, I got to run into and catch up with Amanda. And it was so great seeing her because she was cool enough to do a quick little photo shoot with me this morning before her day shift. And speaking of work, tonight I'm going in for my fourth of my four night shifts. Which, as you guys usually know, I usually like to celebrate going into my last night shift because after working so hard, I've only got one more night. So yeah, we're gonna attack this last night shift, work hard, and we'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So this morning, after getting off my fourth of my four night shifts, I was able to do a quick mini carpool with a new special guest. Today we have mini carpool with special guest Marlene. <laughs> Then afterwards, I headed over to Scarborough to drop off some of my motorcycle parts to my mechanic, Cam Sue. And I'm hoping that within the next week, we'll have my motorcycle, Rouge, back on the road again. I also got the opportunity to go through no frills and test out the new mask mandate being lifted today. But yeah, I don't know about you guys, but being in an indoor setting at this time without a mask will still take a little time to adjust. So don't expect me to wear no mask in a public setting anytime soon. But although I came off my night shift this morning, I wasn't really feeling sleepy. 
So instead, I decided to stay up to edit this week's Live From Last Week episode. And after staying up past three o'clock, missing my window to sleep, the wife decided to come here to Sherway Gardens to check out the Samsung store to see if she can go and buy a new phone. So I'm hoping for the next episode, I'll be able to feature the wife's brand new phone. But anyways, continuing on, before we wrap it up for this week, we have a couple birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first one going to one of my beach volleyball friends who on facebook i see posting fitness videos for inspiration this birthday greeting goes out to you scott happy birthday sky and we've got a birthday greeting to my niece a happy first birthday greeting to somebody that i visited in st catherine's a couple months back this birthday shout out goes out to you athena happy birthday athena I'm hoping that everybody that celebrated their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. So anyways guys, it looks like we've come up to the end of this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.